Given these requirements, cloud computing provides the following. First, a pool of shared resources. These can come in as infrastructure, compute, storage, networking. That doesn't mean that the cloud provider like Amazon is renting out physical machines or physical disks, but instead that it's renting out of virtual machines that are even potentially interconnected to form some virtual clusters of such VMs along with some ability to store some amount of state in the underlying storage. Cloud computing can also come in as shared resources that are used by higher level software services. So these are soft resources. For instance, this can correspond to certain popular services like email or database or some processing runtimes. So it may be easier to just rent all of the infrastructure along with the software stack that's appropriately configured, as opposed to, as a customer, to come in and rent actual infrastructure and then deal with the deployment of the service, the configuration, and the management of the service. So both of these are options in terms of what it is that cloud computing provides as a resource. These infrastructure software resources are all made available via some APIs for access and configuration. The point is that they need to be accessed and manipulated as necessary remotely over the internet. This typically includes web-based APIs, also APIs that are wrapped in libraries that can be integrated in popular language runtimes like Java or command line interfaces or other types of tools. Providers offer many different types of billing and accounting services. There is an entire marketplace surrounding these cloud services and cloud resources that includes uh, pricing models with spot prices or reservations for future prices or other types of models. One common characteristic is that billing is typically not done based on actual usage, just because the overheads that are associated with ultra fine grain monitoring and management tend to be pretty high. And instead, billing is done based on some discrete step function. For instance, compute resources may come in some number of pre-configured alternatives like tiny and medium and large and extra large, and each of these will have a different cost. So then the user picks which one of these matches their needs and then pays the corresponding rate when using the VM. And all of these finally is managed by the cloud provider via some sophisticated software stack. Common software stacks that are used in this space include the open source OpenStack, and also the VMware's uh, vSphere software stack. 